Now with the new silent book club trend, our friends and co-hosts of the Bookcase podcast, Kate and Charlie Gibson, checked it out. Ah, yes, snuggled up with a good book. At the public library? Well, no, this is a party, a silent reading party. A contradiction in terms, perhaps, silent and party. But this is a place where book lovers gather in companionable silence to spend a couple of hours buried in a book. No phones, no household chores, and no excuses not to read. I walk in the door, and I sit down here. That's it. I've got two hours to read and nothing else. So in the name of research for our podcast, The Bookcase with Kate and Charlie, I decided to give it a go, and I headed to Seattle's historic hotel, Sorrento, where the silent reading party is a hot ticket. I've had to wait a couple of months to get in here. All started by this man, Christopher Frizzell, 15 years ago. People were sitting on the floor just to be in the room because we ran out of seats. So this was an immediate sensation? You got people lined up out the door to come? Yes. Now you buy a ticket in advance. It's about 20 bucks a seat, two hours of live music, and healthy peer pressure to get some reading done. It has the best mix of ages and types of people of any social gathering I can think of. There's no rules on what to read. There's fiction, nonfiction, old favorites. The portable Jack Kerouac and everything in between. The ambiance is undeniable, the fire, the food, and Paul the piano player, who serenades with quiet music for two hours. I hop around from genre to genre really freely. It gives everybody who's reading a little something for their story. It's perhaps why people are willing to spend money on something they could do at home. You can curl up in a chair at home and read for nothing. But you don't. At home, you will put on the TV and you'll put some stupid television show on and you will doom scroll on your phone. You look around, everybody in here is doing something that they love. We're all doing it together and it's calming. Some even call it happy hour for introverts. And if you want to stay after and mingle with other readers, do it. What I really liked about when we first went is instead of people saying, oh, what do you do? Where do you live? Right. People said, what are you reading? And it was such a unique way to connect with people. The Silent Book Club is one of the largest organizations running these types of events with over a thousand chapters and 500,000 readers across the globe. Its Rochester, Minnesota club launched just a few weeks ago here at the Mezzanine Cafe to a group of avid readers looking to socialize and get some recommendations. One thing is to find out what other people are reading. Obviously, we all like to read, so, you know, that kind of breaks the ice when you all enjoy the same thing. There's also reading rhythms in New York City that is striking a chord with Gen Zers craving an in-person connection and community. Reading Rhythms is really trying to address the problem of loneliness in big cities. The book says what you're interested in, what you, like, you really resonate with, and chances are if you're interested in it, you want to talk about it. Now they have six events per week. Their largest gathering had over 200 readers. So what did I learn by participating? Well, that there can be a sense of community in silence. So if you're attending a silent reading party in your town, what book would you bring to read? Good question. Mm, Good question. Good book. I, I think I might fall asleep. That's mm. that's usually what happens when I open any <laughs> book in silence. Talk. I yeah. love that. As long as the you're Situation silent. Room. Okay. The latest yes. episode of The Bookcase with Kate and Charlie Gibson is now available.